Hi, in a previous video, we looked at using high power laser to treat a neck pain with an associated radiculopathy. So, if you have a patient presenting with low back pain with a radiculopathy, I refer you to watch that video and use the same techniques. But this patient is presenting with a non-specific low back pain with an insidious onset. The presentation is an ache from the centre going, going left and right. So we've chosen to use high power laser. We use the same technique, the same protocol of TNT. We're going to treat the trigger point. If there was a neuropathy, we'd treat the nerve root. But it's also important then to go on and treat the tender area. So let's see how we, how we start. Important that we wear manufacturer specific glasses. We take our probe and we choose which standoff to use. The larger standoff has a smaller energy density. The smaller standoff has a higher energy density. Because I'm going to treat the trigger point in QL, I'm going to choose to use the smaller one. I earlier palpated the myofascial trigger point in QL, so I've localized it and I'm now going to start my treatment. I press play on the screen and then I press the foot switch. These are built-in safety features. You will note that I'm now using a spiral technique. It doesn't matter whether you go from the centre out or indeed from the out into the centre. Once you reach the centre, just pause for two to three seconds and then repeat the spiral motion until phase two has finished. We're now ready to move on to phase two. The premise is identical to, to phase one. So because we haven't got a radiculopathy here, we don't need to treat the nerve root, but we may have a secondary satellite myofascial trigger point, or indeed we can skip phase two. And I want to show you how to skip phase two. So once phase one has finished, we set the time for one second. I place my head, I press the foot switch after one second. Phase two is now completed and we've moved on to phase three. During phase three, because this area is quite acute, I'm going to change to a standoff with a lower energy density. During phase three, I'm using a scanning technique. The purpose of phase three is to create biostimulation of the cellular activity. So in order that I don't miss any of those cells in that area, I go transversely and then longitudinally over the tissue and I repeat that process until I've phase three has finished. You'll note that I'm using a slower technique with the lower energy density standoff. If I'm using the smaller standoff with a higher energy density, I work quicker. Now, if you have a patient with a tattoo, because we have a thermal effect during phase three, it's important we communicate continually with the patient. And if we go over that tattoo, we need to work quite a bit quicker because the thermal effect will warm up the ink in the tattoo. Or indeed, if they've got a large area of tattoo, you might have to reduce your energy power by 50%. Now, when phase three has finished, we've completed our treatment. I would expect at least a 50% improvement in a patient's pain after this first session. In an acute presentation, I'm going to ask this patient to come back and see me three to five times in that first week using a lower energy dose. 
if, if indeed, on the uh, contrary, the patient is coming to see me with a chronic condition, then I'm going to ask to see them once a week, but I'm going to use much, uh, a much higher, higher dosage.